Hey Gemini, welcome to your July reading. This will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's find out what's coming up for you, Gemini. In love, in life, and everything in between. Alright. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right, I love that first energy for you. Okay. You're not backing down in your current situation. However, however it is playing out right now, for some of you, I am feeling that somebody may have disappointed you, left you, betrayed you. But nevertheless, you are in a situation right now your energy, Gemini, is more about manifesting, coming up with new things, coming up with new ideas, doing new things every day, like welcoming the energy of the world, you know, of the universe. And that is a very good energy to have, especially in the mid-year, right? <laughs> I feel like that is good and um, continue doing that because one thing you don't know, for now it may seem like a little bit of struggle, but success is on the way. The hidden, the silver lining here is that you will get to a successful stunt. Yeah. And I feel like there will be a lot of support that you can expect, especially in the coming month. A lot of support from friends, from colleagues, from family members, who are the people that you surround with, that you know you can trust, somebody who, who are happy, or people who are happy for your success. There will be a lot of reasons to enjoy, a lot of reasons to get together. For some of you, you could even have, you have recently become a new father or a new mother. There could be some, you know, newborn in your family. And that's one of the reasons why you feel like the entire family is very supportive towards you. But there's something new that you are um, carrying, accomplishing, making do yeah now i also see a situation with someone someone who may have left betrayed you or you may have left them you know there's a separation here somebody was feeling abandoned and this person now feels like they want to patch things up they want to get together they want to hear you they want to talk to you they want to hear you they want to understand where you're at right now and if you can talk things out they want to do that. They want to relieve the good memories you may have had. Mm -hmm. All right. Just try not to overdo with all the manifestation where you forget to have a good sleep, for example. Or you may not even know how you truly feel about what you're doing because you're just busy doing rather than feeling. So have that balance in terms of you know, getting satisfaction with accomplishing things versus having that emotional uh, satisfaction because of the achievements that you have done or you have achieved, right? So, yeah, try not to tire yourself physically too much. Whatever this is, I feel like the outcome here is a closure or um, a completion of something. So for some of you, like I said, if you have just become a new father or a new mother, this is an energy of finally you have completed that step and now you're ready to start something. You're now ready to start a life being a parent, you know, that, that sort of thing. You have been waiting for this cycle to complete the nine months and all that. And then now you're ready to embark into something new. You have completed a phase successfully. All right. For some of you, it could even be graduation where you may have had some uh, financial problems dur during the course of your studies, but um, now it's almost over. It's done. You're done with that phase, and you're ready to start something. You're ready to start earning on your own. You're ready to start being part of, of the <laughs> real world. Yeah, that, that sort of energy. Yeah, there is a lot of new things that you are excited to be doing. Mm -hmm. And if you're aiming for some success, promotion, 
um, elevation of your status, more followers being on the spotlight. If you're really aiming for that, this reading is saying that you can achieve that, but it comes with a cost. It's not something that will be handed over to you just because you have friends or family or things like that. It comes with a cost. That means you have to put effort, um, effort into it, and uh, ultimately you will get that success that you're looking for. So this is not a success where you can ride on to someone's success. No. But I feel that that is not going to be a problem for you because you're always ready to to entertain a new idea, a new business proposal, a new, you know, for you, the energy that you have here, you're actually enjoying doing new things, you know, starting a new phase in your life. You're enjoying that. You're, you're passionate about it even. Yeah, you're passionate about it. And um, despite the fact that you may not have enough balance of rest, enjoyment, um, struggles and all that in, in the recent past, I do feel that um, for the month of July, Gemini, you will find yourself celebrating. You will find yourself like, I got what I want type of energy, right? And um, for that particular person, I, I see here there's someone here, like I said, who may have left you or you may have left them. This person is kind of waiting for you, Gemini. They're patiently waiting for the right time to reconnect again. I feel like yesterday this person may have thought, is it a good time to reach out to Gemini? Is it a good time to, to um, let them know how I feel? So this is a person who is evaluating things um, in terms of reaching out to you. Because without you, this person feels lost. This person feels like they have been abandoned or there's no reason for them to be happy anymore. So you could expect this person to come forward and um, extend towards you. Extend a hello, extend a can we talk, that kind of thing, right? And, and you will take it up from there, okay? Um, but I do see that um, there will be more clear manifestation on your way. Uh, from here onwards, you will clearly know what you want, what you can do, and how would you plan for the future, which, you know, for things to be more meaningful, for things to be more successful for you. Don't forget that. Whatever you have been wishing, hoping in terms of success, it may feel impossible right now, but it is on the cards. It's your silver lining, but it, it comes with a cost, though. Yeah, it doesn't come easy. But if you put the effort, the time, energy into it, you'll get there. You'll get there. Yes, a weekend. They have done the work and want to take a leap of faith, of love for you in a few months. For those of you, if this, if there is some love, romantic situation that is on in the works, like a reconciliation that you're thinking or contemplating, it shall happen in the next few months. This person being away from you, they are learning to understand their faults, to understand why you acted that way, why they have acted that way. They're, they're also learning along the process. And once they are ready to extend, to reach out, they would do so. And them, it is them really initiating and taking that leap of faith towards you. Okay, Let's get you some advice. Advice for Gemini. Oh, just be you, Gemini. Be that fun, adap adaptable, and energetic you that you are. A playful child within you wants to come out and play. Acknowledge your inner child. So if you are in a struggle right now, if things are very difficult to handle, if you feel like you're overloaded or overwhelmed, you know, bring out that playfulness, you know. Whether it be at work, whether it be in your relationships, romantic connections, be playful. It always pays <laughs> to be flip, to be playful. You get more experiences, you get more fun interactions by doing so. And you know that very well. You know that very well. All right. Shooting star, what you've asked is coming true. Your wish is about to manifest. Like I said, 
whatever you have been looking for, aiming for, it's in the cards. Yeah? What you've asked for is coming true. Your wish is about to manifest. I love it. And I hope this gives you insights. Let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and um, enjoy your summer.